Hello and welcome back to Day Planner. Now today we have a story of a new approach to tackling the issue of climate change. Yeah, that's right. Greenland's ice sheet is melting and researchers are in a race against time to keep it from accelerating. Now a group of scientists is calling on the public to get involved by crowdfunding research at the far reaches of the Arctic Circle. All right, meteorologist Kelly Cass tells us about the Dark Snow Project. At the Arctic Circle, the ice is disappearing. Greenland's ice sheet is melting faster than we've seen in our lifetime, and scientists are racing to find out why. Now, for the first time ever, one scientist is asking the public for help, calling for people to help fund his research. It'll be a first time that a, a, a science expedition got uh, used crowdsourcing to, to make it happen. Jason Box has already been to Greenland 23 times. He says he never thought he'd see this degree of melting. If the ice sheet slumps down enough, then it, it cannot be regenerated. That's a, a point of irreversibility uh, beyond which you need a, a full ice age uh, lasting you know, many tens of thousands of years to regrow the ice sheet. As the white ice melts and turns to dark water, it speeds up the melting in what's known as the albedo feedback. But the melt is happening so fast, scientists suspect other factors are contributing, causing a vicious cycle. There's a number of um, feedback mechanisms, things that are multiplying each other. It's not just uh, climate warming alone, it's, it's the feedback process. As wildfires blazed across his home state of Colorado in 2012, Fox wondered, is the soot from fires and industrial pollution having the same effect in the Arctic? We can use Greenland as a laboratory to measure um, how much of this soot is making it to the Arctic, making it darker, making it absorb more sunlight. Unable to get funding from the National Science Foundation, his theory sparked the ambitious effort to fund his latest expedition, the Dark Snow Project. That's not what our government's priorities are at the moment. Uh, there wasn't the money available for this. It'd be good if uh, the rest of us figured out how to come up with it. When we get to Greenland, we're going to uh, charter a helicopter and land at a few key areas, make um, surface sample measurements of soot and then some um, very shallow coring. And we'll get a number of measurements just by hopping around on the ice sheet. There are moments when you one doesn't know whether to laugh or cry. I mean, you know, this is some of the most important research on Earth and we probably shouldn't have to be, you know, going to the internet to try to raise money for it. Box hopes people will be inspired to contribute and follow along with the research team's progress, in effect, playing a part in changing the course of climate change. I'm meteorologist Kelly Cass, The Weather Channel. And you know, the expedition is slated for July and Box says they are already two thirds of their way to their goal. You can learn more by going to the project website at www.darksnowproject.org.